Chicago's got it bad, guys. In South Chicago, there's a lot of zip codes where there's incredibly high crime. Crime rate that's so high that it's creating food deserts and even pharmacy deserts right now. Chicago is trying to get some city-owned grocery stores into the mix. But instead of spending some money on city-owned grocery stores, they literally spent all their money on the migrant crisis. I mean, Chicago is willing to spend like almost $500 million on the migrant crisis, but they wouldn't spend a couple million dollars to open some city-owned grocery stores. Obviously, these city-owned grocery stores will not make money. Kansas tried the same thing. They lost money on these. But it's not really about making money on these city-owned grocery stores, but just providing like a safer and cheaper and healthier option than just fast food and deep-fried goods. So has Chicago made any city-owned grocery stores? Absolutely not. They don't care. They don't care about citizens. A lot of people in the south side of Chicago pay their taxes, but they can't even get a city-owned grocery store, right? And the city is thinking about this, but they've been thinking about this since September of 2023. Has this happened? No. In fact, Chicago is in a desperate situation. The city just doesn't care about them, but the city did try to hand out some grants to Yellow Banana to make a Save-A-Lot. But right now, Save-A-Lot and several investors are really considering their options because the crime rate in Chicago is so incredibly high, I'm not really sure it could make any money. You could literally be the only grocery store in like multiple zip codes and you probably won't make money. Usually when there's no competition, business is incredibly good. But in Chicago, business is good, but there's a lot of shoplifting and a lot of robberies and theft, which will eventually make you go back to breaking even, even losing money. Yellow Banana is far from living up its vow to get rid of the food deserts in some west and south side neighborhoods. They can't even get a save a lot right now. There is no store in sight. And right now in Chicago, if you want to go to the grocery store, you got to take a big commute because usually you're going to have to drive about 15 to 20 minutes just to get a grocery store just to get a fresh apple. Or you could get some unhealthy option like some deep fried items or fast food, but that's really about it. Yellow Banana's deal to renovate stores in Chicago is failing spectacularly. Six save lots are supposed to be renovated and open, but not a single one has been powered up. Now, there's a few things. Yellow Banana did receive $13.5 million in subsidies to open these save lots and renovate them. But right now, a lot of the investors are getting kind of cold feet, right? There's a reason why entire Walmarts are closing down in this place, South Side Chicago and the West Side. There's a lot of looting. There's a lot of robberies and there's a lot of crime. And many people tell the Chicago government, you really need to start fixing up these situations or else everyone's going to leave. At the current moment, you have some of the biggest banking industries leaving Chicago, like Citadel's Ken Griffin, which has warned Chicago numerous times to get its crime under check or they'll leave. Of course, Chicago didn't care. Of course, they never seemed to care. And guess what happened next? Not surprising that Ken Griffin took Citadel, one of the biggest financial companies in the world, to Miami, Florida. Same thing happened with Guggenheim. Guggenheim actually moved their headquarters to Miami as well. And now the Chicago Mercantile Exchange may also leave. We're also seeing McDonald's and their CEO and their top executives complaining about the crime in this area. We also have some railway companies moving to other cities as well. Boeing is moving to West Virginia and Caterpillar has left. This is the state of Chicago. They don't even care if some of the biggest titans of industry leave. Why would they care about your grocery store? Why would they care about your mom and pop store if they don't even care about some multi-billion dollar corporation leaving? Right now, Yellow Bananas deal to renovate these stores, it's not happening. Many investors are starting to notice that the crime rate in Chicago is just through the roof and the city genuinely doesn't care. They'd much rather spend $100 million, $200 million, $300 million on the migrant crisis, which right now, many Chicago citizens are really mad because Brandon Johnson of Chicago spends every penny on the migrant crisis and then now there's a lot of questions about equality and fairness because you have domestic American citizens that can't get warming bus stations, that don't get credit cards, that don't get you know welfare as much as these guys. You also have millions of dollars being poured on the migrant crisis, but not a single million dollars being poured on impoverished neighborhoods of Chicago. You know, I think South South Chicago would be a lot better if there were several city owned grocery stores. Healthier options, yes. There's going to be shoplifting. There's going to be looting. But if it's city owned, it's whatever. Even these lose money, the city's just providing a service for these communities. It shouldn't just be a few rotten apples. 
ruining the fresh produce selection for everyone. Now, will Chicago open these city-owned grocery stores? Right now, that deal is probably over.